guys it's the Macintosh guide and in today's video I have got a Radeon 7 graphics card um, which we will be installing in our beloved 7,1 Mac Pro now currently I have got a 5500X Radeon Pro GPU installed on this Mac Pro which was default from factory um, and I just wanted to get one of these bad boys I saw it for a good price on eBay picked one up um, and let's just get straight into getting it installed onto this beautiful oh. machine. Before we begin, I initially purchased a Radeon RX 6800 XT. Um, this, guys, just did not fit on my Mac Pro. It was just too big. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm putting this back on eBay to sell. Um, and then I decided, you know what, let's pick up one of these bad boys. Radeon 7 Pro heard a lot of positive things about it. Um, and yeah, it will help me out with my editing um, far more. I started noticing some issues with my 5500X. So I thought, you know what, let's get one of these cards. I've also got another 5700X, a desktop Pro Radeon Pro version coming soon as well. So I'll be doing another video on getting that card installed as well. And then doing some benchmarks on it. So yeah, it's just a little story. Did not fit, so I went ahead and got one of these. Go ahead and install the card. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. It's the gigabyte version. It comes with six. It has sixteen GB VRAM. Um, again, guys, it's it's a beautiful looking card. Um, I got this from on eBay for around just nearly three hundred quid. Um, which is not too bad for a card which is still in pretty good condition. A lot of the cards I did see had issues of the backplate just like tearing off as you can tell. This one isn't that bad but some of the ones I saw were horrendous. So yeah let's let's just get into getting this card installed and I'll show you guys how you can do it. So ever be able to do any work on this machine the way the first thing we have to do is move this switch to the unlock position. Um, and then we need to focus on the plate which is numbered as one sorry I put this up, up the wrong way around but this one plate needs to come off so the screw up here and the screw which is right down here I don't think the camera is going to show this perfectly guys but the screw is just right there so I just need to get that unscrewed you just need to use a forehead screwdriver um, so that's the first side here and then number two the next side we need to look at is where it's holding the GPUs down. So it's all four of these screws here, guys. So just need let me just get those uh, taken out, and then we will get on to the next step. Now guys. that we have the plates removed, all we need to do is just pull this tab, pull on it, and as easy as that, the GPU is out. So I'm just making sure I'm not touching the die underneath. And voila guys, we have the module out. Just to give you guys a better look of what the what the 5500X module looks like. So this is a custom made from Apple. You cannot fit this module in any other machine as far as I know. Um, besides the Mac Pro. Um, obviously there's the die at the back. It's, it's really clean looking, you know, Apple's done a really good job. Um, making this it's it's unfortunate that you can't put this in a different machine and you know but that's obviously freed up the slot over here for us what I'm now going to do is I'm going to slide in the Radeon 7 straight into this gap um, and show you all the cables that we're going to need to to make Aligned. sure it should just be a matter of pressing it right in so boom the card is now fitted in fully, it's flushed in, it's not moving as much. Um, and then what we need to do guys is we need to get the Belkin kit. So let me show you guys what that looks like. So this is the Belkin kit. Um, this costs around £70 I believe uh, from Apple. It gives you one 8 pin to 6 pin, um, four 8 pin to 6 plus 2 pins, which is what we're going to be using two of those. Um, and one six pin to six pin cable so pricey but it it obviously allows us to install custom GPUs onto this machine now as we know guys the Mac Pro only supports AMD GPUs um, and that is even still a, a, not every single one 
Um, so luckily enough, this Radeon 7 Pro fits in the machine um, and it's supposed to be working as well, absolutely fine. So uh, the two cables that we're gonna be using is going to be this one. So this has a six plus two head and then it also has a eight head that'll be going inside the machine. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys what that pin connector looks inside and then I'll get the cables installed and we shall boot up the machine. Just to show you guys, it's that connector you, you see over there that says one and two. Um, where we showed that small eight pin connector that goes in to that area there. So we are pretty much good to go guys let me just get all the cables connected and then we will put it up this is how the connection is supposed to be so the 6.2 cable goes in over here and then at the back we see the let me see if i can zoom it in the one dot the one to two cable over there so we are now fully assembled guys um let me just close put all the screws back as we did as we took them out and yeah, let's just do a quick benchmark just to see how it's opened up. Um, I will do a benchmark on the Radeon 7, both OpenCL and Metal, and then we'll just go through the results together. So I'll see you guys well, when the results come well. back. And the scores are, well, 20,000 points more than what the 5500X was giving me. So... The OpenCL score is 62,612. Um, pretty good. This is right again running on Geekbench 6. And the Metal score, guys, is double than what the Geekbench result was for the 5500X on Metal. So the score is 82,799. So again, 20,000 more um, than the OpenCL score. So incredible. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've, as soon as the 5700X Pro version comes to me, I will also do a video on that and what the results are um, when I put that into my system as well. But yeah, guys, this was just a simple video about upgrading the GPU. Um, I hope that helps. Guys, the conclusion of the video, did this upgrade help in any way? Yes, it did. This has doubled the GPU performance um, that I was getting. The 5500X was giving me scores of around 40,000. This is giving me scores around 80,000 for metal. Um, I definitely recommend getting an upgrade. Of course, if I the 6800XT would have fitted, then we would have seen astron astronomical changes. However, the card just didn't really fit. Um, and I am, as I said in the video, I am looking to get a 5700X. Uh, pro desktop card once i get that come in let's see how that goes i'm not going to be getting the 16 gigabyte module from apple this is too far too expensive i can get two 5700x 8 gig model, model cards um for the same price so it just doesn't make sense guys uh so i want to stick one of those in this is a 16 gig as i said in vram the other one's going to be 8 gig about 24 gigs and i don't know how a two GPU setup would work. Of course, they're not matching, but I know people have made it work in Mac rumors. But overall conclusion, absolutely worth it. Worth the price. I feel like I got it for a good price as well. Um, but yeah, I also hope it helped you guys. I don't see that many videos out there that talk about what you need to get, what needs to be done um, for GPU upgrades. 7.1 Mac Pros are just very rare on YouTube nowadays to see any videos for. But this was the Macintosh guide, guys, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the upgrade that I've got. And if you like the video, of course, leave a like, uh, subscribe, please. And yeah, just plenty more videos. So stay tuned, guys. I'll see you in the next one.